Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope that you are having a wonderful Wednesday or whatever day of the week it might be if you're watching this on replay. Um, we're going to do some projects and I'm going to show you a ton of ones that I've done in the past. We're using paint stir sticks. You guys, these are so fun. The possibilities are completely endless. They're super affordable. You can get them anywhere. Um, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, Walmart, Amazon. I mean, seriously, you can pick these up everywhere. These actually came from, I think these ones came from Lowe's. They're all about the same and they're about a dollar a piece. So you get the five gallon, you get three of them for about a dollar. And it's pretty standard everywhere. And then you get 10 of the one gallon for a dollar or a dollar five or something like that. Um, so I've used paint stir sticks quite, um, quite a bit in the past. Whoops, what's going on here? Um, I don't know, I think everything's okay. Um, and I've made a ton of different projects, but the I'm gonna start out with what I made this morning, and then we're gonna actually do some, and then you have to stay to the end, because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven completed projects to share, you, share with you, and they're awesome. Um, and if I could figure out how, here we go, I want to pin a link to Magnolia, because we're gonna be using their stencils and chalk paste today, sorry. Okay, where is it? Let me try again. <laughs> so sorry, my technical abilities are not super great. Okay, there. There it is. Pin comment. Okay, so it'll be at the bottom of the screen through this whole um, project, all right? Okay, so the thing I made this morning is awesome. And it's this right here. I will take pictures of it. And um, which way do I need to go? And post those in the comments. But essentially, this is that gorgeous Merry Christmas stencil. I put it on top of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stir sticks that I all joined together. And for this kind of a project, I seriously recommend that you use E6000 or something like this. Don't use hot glue because it won't be as strong and stable. I've used hot glue and it hasn't uh, stayed very well. So um, basically for this project, before I came live this morning, I painted all these um, stir sticks with a light gray chalk paint. And then I used the Merry Christmas stencil, which is out in my kitchen, cause I just, I cleaned it and it's laying face up on the counter waiting to get all dry. Um, I used black, chalk paste and a squeegee and um, it just, oh my gosh, I just love it. I was, let me tell you this, I was thinking that I would spread them apart. I'll show you an example. Um, but when I looked at it, it didn't really look right. This is way too intricate of a stencil to spread them apart. So essentially what I'm talking about is sometimes you can stencil on something and when you glue the stir sticks on, you can spread it apart. Like this says welcome. And there's, it's not as detailed of a stencil, so it works to do it with this. Can you see what I'm talking about? If you guys don't understand, let me know in the comments. Let me see what you guys are saying. Hey, and as you're hopping on, whoops, um, say hi. Where did my comments go? There they are. And let me know if you um, have questions. Let me know. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Um, feel free to sprinkle if you would like to. My uh, fish bracelet keeps snagging my shirt. <laughs> so I'm going to take it off for a few minutes. Um, 
let me know where you're watching from feel free to sprinkle and um okay so i ended up gluing everything together with no spaces and let me tell you one thing sometimes you can see what color the stir stick is that's holding the whole piece together so i opted to paint the front of them if i was going to do this as a project to give to someone i would do, paint all the back too but most likely this will just be hanging on my front door and um let's talk about the wood for a second and then we'll go ahead Okay, so paint stir sticks. Um, on one side, they have a measuring, um, I don't know what you call this, measuring thing that goes to 14 inches. On the other side, it's plain. One side has this little scallop right here and the other side is straight. So can you notice that I alternated? Straight side, scallop side, straight side, scallop side, straight side, scallop side. That's what allows you to um, thread a piece of whatever you want to hang it with in between the pieces. If you just do them all in the same direction, then on one side it will be hard to get your little hanger into it. The other thing is for this project, because the stencil is so detailed, I decided to paint the, the blank side and the paint sh completely covered it so <clears throat> it wouldn't have showed up anyways but that's an option sometimes it does look pretty cute like let me show you this one again to have the numbers visible so on this project from summer I stained this um, with I think hazel mahogany gel stain but you can use whatever you like and I did it on the side that has the numbers So that is completely an option too. There's so many things that you can do. Okay now when you're going to stencil on these I'll get through all the fine details and then we'll move ahead when you're gonna stencil on these <clears throat> Whether you paint them or you stain them or you just leave them natural They are wood and they are gonna have that, that tendency to pull in whatever your medium is that you're using on your stencil and then almost like soak it out. So you will end up with uh, not crisp looking lines from your stencil unless you do one of two things, okay? One thing is you can um, just use a clear beeswax or really whatever kind of wax you want before you stencil, that closes those fibers down. It also makes it so that it's not so hard to get your stencil off. The other thing you could do is you could use a matte finish clear sealer like this Krylon from Walmart and apply one or two coats, let it dry thoroughly before you stencil. T for today's projects, I opted to do the, the beeswax because if you look over my shoulder, it's raining in Atlanta today. And so it wasn't really a good day to go outside and spray my projects with this. But I will follow up on, the one, on everything I do later and add a coat of this over the top just to make them more permanent. Okay, so make sure you either stain, I mean, make sure you either um, wax or seal your paint stir sticks doesn't matter whoops it doesn't matter whether you stained them or painted them or left them natural you need to either wax or seal them before you stencil okay so this was the project from this morning and I love it I love this stencil I'm gonna use it on a lot of different things and if you want to take a peek I pinned a link at the bottom of the page you can just click on that link right there and it'll take you to my website and from there, you'll be able to look around. I believe this stencil's in the 12 by 18 inch size stencils. Okay, so also before I came live, I put together this smaller paint stir stick um, thing. And I used for these, for these littler paint stir sticks, I find that it's easier to just use those jumbo craft 
um, I don't know if I have any out here. Those jumbo craft sticks that you can get everywhere, including the Dollar Tree. And again, I used my E6000. Hey, and here's a fun tip. If you're having a hard time getting yours open, put it in a, a cup of hot water and use some pliers to open it. And then before you seal it next time, put a little Vaseline around the rim and that will make it a little bit easier to open the next time. So I, um, I got this all ready to go and I wanted to show you two different ways that you could go with it. Um, one is a kind of a 3D idea and um, I think I'm gonna do the other one though, but I wanna show you this. So you can get these little wreaths everywhere. This one I think came from, yeah, it came from Target from the dollar spot. It's not super great quality, but it's pretty cute. And you could put this on your little paint stir stick sign and you could use one of the stencils like this one I love so much. It says peace. We'll just stick it on there for just a second. And that would be really cute. That's like a three dimensional idea. Okay, but that's not what we're gonna do. I think what we're gonna do instead is this super cute stencil also from Magnolia, and there's a link right here. Um, this one. Hot Cocoa Bar, Mrs. Claus Cafe. Okay, that's what I was thinking that we would do. Let me figure out which direction we want to go. I think we want to go up and down with this. And I think I'm only going to do part, the top part of the stencil. Okay, um, I think I'll do black and red. And we'll do the hot cocoa bar and the cup and the Mrs. Claus Cafe. Okay, so the first step with these green um, magnolia stencils, they're super sticky, is you gotta fuzz them. And this one's brand new. So first thing I did was I labeled it so I know which side to put it back on, and that's important. And now I'm gonna fuzz it three or four times. Oh, and also I waxed this. Um, this sign that we're going to be making before I came live. Just to have that done and out of the way. Um, again, I could have sprayed it with a clear matte sealer, but it's raining in Atlanta today and it's really pretty darn yucky out there. I'm going to do one more time. Okay. All right, and... For this project, I'm going to get my special tools out. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. I don't know if you've seen these before, but these are called squeegee paintbrushes, I think. They're in the accessories. You get a set of five of them. I don't know where the other one is. It's probably hanging around here somewhere. They're great for when you want to get like a fine little detail. So we'll be using that and we'll also just be using some regular squeegees. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lay my stencil on here and then I'm gonna think about where I want everything to be. And I want to have it relatively centered. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. Okay. All right, so these green stencils, like I said, they're adhesive, they're mesh, they're super detailed, they're really easy to work with. If you've used those plastic ones that slip and slide all over the place, you need to try these out because they're great. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's do the Hot Cocoa Bar and Mrs. Claus Cafe in black chalk paste. And I'm just going to take a scoop. I'll put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And let me put my phone down here. Can you guys see? 
I'm going to resist the urge that I always have, and you probably do too, to keep going over and over it because that's one of the other things that can cause bleeding. Um, I'm going to resist that urge. I'm going to try to just make, you know, unless it's to take some of the excess off, I'm going to try to just make one pass. And I'm not using an excessive amount of chalk paste either. Okay. So there's that. And then let's quickly get the red out. And I think I'm going to do one thing in green. Um, this is called peppermint leaf. It's a, it's a really nice color. Okay, so I'm going to use this right here and I'm just gonna take a little blob of green and I'm gonna put it on this center like snowflake then I'm gonna take the excess off okay and you do want to work pretty quickly um, when you're working with stencils now we're gonna use the red so you guys I am feeling so much better. Oh my gosh. I, um, if you didn't know, I got diagnosed with COVID like, I don't know, 12 days ago or something like that. And it's been pretty awful. But I feel like I've rounded the corner and I had a great night of sleep last night. And I'm feeling so much better, so I'm so encouraged that maybe I'm about done with it. Here we go. So I'll do this part, and then I may come back later. You know what? Maybe I'm going to do the marshmallows and peppermint right now. I think I am. And... Maybe I'm gonna do this little green line as well. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Whoops. Really don't wanna get a combination of colors here and it looks like I have a little bit, but that's okay. Red and green make a really awful brown. A purpley, ugly brown. So I'm trying not to mix these up. Okay, so this is what I have. And let's pull it off. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Oh, it's just darling. I'm going to throw my stencil face down in this little tub of water that I have sitting over here. And get a paper towel to wipe my hands off. And then I'll show you this masterpiece. And you know what, I may come back later and put another line of something and a green stripe up above. Because there is another line here that says, have a drink and warm up. Also, there's one that says, since 1755. So, what do you think? Is that pretty cute or what? And then you could use some Christmassy kind of ribbon to hang it. Um, this is a really cute stencil. There's a lot of cute pieces to it. Like, I would totally love to just put this cup here, either on a mug or on a t-shirt. This whole stencil would be super cute on tea towels. If you guys like this project, give me some hearts. I see some coming up. Um, and I love it. I love that. Uh, so, when I'm all finished, I will complete this project which means I'll have to wash my stencil and then I am definitely going to put something up here because I think that adds a lot to it um, and I want to talk to you about one more idea and then I'm going to show you so stay with me don't leave now I'm going to show you um, all these projects that I've done already um, and if you're new to DIY dreaming you may not have seen the Facebook lives that I did when I did those projects so should stick around. Okay, let's put our lid on our tuck paste 
so we can keep them from drying out. All right, the, um, the next idea that I wanted to share is the idea of making something three-dimensional. And I've done this with other signs before, um, but I haven't done it with, I don't think I've done it with the paint stir sticks. So I'm gonna have to sort of improvise to show you this idea. And I'm gonna show it to you on the back of this one that I've already held up a few times. Okay, and it would be cute to even do it here. So, um, let me get this off my fingers so I don't get it on my projects. Um, so, I know you guys have been seeing these everywhere, these cute little Christmas trees. How about doing a project where you mount one of these Christmas trees to the project and then you write something right here. And how would you mount it? You could just, I mean, it could be super simple, as simple as using, you know, some Christmassy fabric or a, um, or some burlap, whatever you like. Or if you have any of those kind of pocket things, this is gonna look sloppy, but it'll give you the idea. What do you guys think about that? I love it personally. And these things came from Dollar Tree. This one, I think, oh, I don't have the sticker on it anymore, but they're um, between three and $5. And I believe that this one was $3. And it's, you know, it's obviously a fake little tree, but you get a lot of bang for three bucks. And you could put a fun stencil up here. You could, again, you could have these slats all smushed together or um, spaced out like they are right there. And um, so you could use burlap too. Okay, so let's go on to the fun part. And I'll show you some of the other projects that I have done. And um, let me say one more thing. If you guys end up doing any of these paint stir stick signs, gosh, I would really love to see pictures of your projects over at Dreamy DIY. And I know that all the fellow, the other fellow crafters that follow DIY Dreaming and also that are part of the Dreamy DIY crafting group, they would love to see pictures of what you make too. So, especially if you do some 3D ones that have either wreaths or little Christmas trees. Okay, so I've already showed you this one. I made this last summer. And it just says, welcome. And this was just stained a light brown. Um, also last summer, I made this one a flag. And I just used, I think I used acrylic paint and a little bit of um, stain over the top of the white part of the flag to make it look a little distressed. Um, I don't have stars on here. It's just to give you the overall impression of a flag. Do you guys like that? I'm not the first person to do a flag. If you look over at Pinterest, you'll see lots of ideas like that. Okay. Um, these are two that are currently hanging here in my craft room. I love this one. I think this one was one that I did a Christ and crafting with, which is on every, pretty much every Sunday I do a uh, craft and then we talk about Christ, we go into the Bible. And so this is, it says act justly, love mercy, walk humbly with your God. And I tied this little, uh, like little garter thing with some beads on it around the that and then I just use that to hang it up so this is below this one which these colors go totally with my craft room they go with my whole house these this is the fruit of the spirit stencil the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness faithfulness goodness self-control galatians 5 22 to 23 and just to um spice this one up i used three different colors of blue paint right here on these three paint stir sticks you can of course you could alternate them i've seen them really cute where it's gray white gray white gray white and then some kind of a fun christmas stencil would be awesome 
there's just so many things that you can do. And the point of me um, showing this is just to give you ideas. So then you can go and make something similar that is your taste, your style. Anyway, so these two are hanging uh, just right here behind me together. Love those. And I'll put those back up when I'm done here. Um, oh, these were fun. Okay, these were stencils that I made with um, my custom stencil maker, which I'll, I'll drop a, a pin for that. Uh, or I won't drop a pin, I'm sorry. I'll put a link to that in the comments in case you wanna go take a peek. So this says whale come. And to do this look, I painted all of my um, paintster sticks sort of a creamy color, and then I just did a dry brush technique of brown and um, blue and green. And then I stenciled it. And of course I sealed, I sealed it with the spray sealer before I stenciled all of these projects to keep um, the wood from absorbing the medium and then spreading it all out. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then the same theme, this one I made last summer as well. I love it. I really love this beachy. It looks like it's been a sign that has been sitting by the ocean and is just gotten um, distressed by the wind and the waves. So it's the same idea, painted white and then a dry brush of the blue and the brown and the green. There might have been some gray in here too. And then this was a whale cutout that I painted blue and then I used that custom stencil maker to make this a stencil that says, my dear, then the waves of the sea is his love for you, Psalm 35.4. And um, I stenciled that on this whale cutout and then we glued it to the project. Okay, so then I have one more to share, you, share with you. And honestly, you guys, there are so many different things that you could do, seriously. So if you like um, this idea, any of these ideas uh, with paintster sticks, give me some little hearts or thumbs up um, just, to, just to let me know. I see some coming, yay, thank you guys. Okay, so this is the last one and this is one that I did um, showing a decoupage technique. And for this I was using a piece of vintage dictionary, a page that I stenciled fall, breeze, autumn leaves on it in black chalk paste. And then I cut it apart and I Mod Podged it on the little paintster sticks. Or maybe I Mod Podged it when they were all together and then I cut it apart and I spread it out. Let me hold this up close so you can see. And that's a very different look as well. And then this was my attempt at one of those kind of, I don't know, funky looking bows that are so popular. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you um, today, anyways. And um, if you wanna look at any of these stencils, all these stencils, came from Magnolia, and there's a link right here. They're reusable. You guys, they're awesome. They're super easy to use, too. Um, if you have questions, please let me know in the comments, because I'm gonna get off now, and I'll look through all the comments. I always do, I try to read every single comment, even though I can't answer every single, uh, you know, I can't, I, it just, it would become crazy. I mean, I would love to, but I do read every single comment. And uh, so this was our project today. I hope you liked it. I want to see your projects if you end up doing any of these paint stir stick signs. Okay, have a great rest of your day and thank you guys for joining me. And thank you for your continued prayers um, to be feeling better because I really am. I mean, I'm not 100%, but 
golly, I'm so much better than I have been. So thank you guys. All right, have a great rest of your day.